Hello, and welcome to our IEEE ICRA 2020 talk on routing a large fleet of drones over ground transit networks to deliver packages across broad urban areas. Over the last few years, e-commerce, especially one-click and instant delivery, has exploded in popularity around the world. However, this remarkable convenience has strained dense urban communities, increased traffic congestion due to delivery vehicles, and impacted daily commute times. We definitely need to think about improving the current package distribution pipeline. Delivery drones are promising due to their agility and aerial reach, and initial deployments by Wing, UPS, and others have been successful. But Drones are limited by their low range and payload capacity compared to the high coverage and high throughput ground-based delivery networks. So, if we could coordinate aerial and ground networks and combine their strengths, we would achieve not only commercial benefits for the operators, but also positive societal outcomes, for example, reduced traffic congestion and faster delivery of essential goods like prescriptions, or for some people, even coffee. In our paper, we have the following setup. In some city scale area, we need to control a large number of delivery drones to carry packages from the warehouses or depots to the requested delivery locations. Besides flying directly, the drones can use public transit vehicles, say a bus network, as temporary modes of transportation to save energy and increase flight range. We need to decide what deliveries to make, in what order, and whether or when to use modes of transit. We are concerned with the high-level decision-making here. The deployment of such networks in practice is a multidisciplinary task. We need to deal with a bunch of computational challenges here. We're planning routes over large time-dependent transit networks. We're subject to flight range constraints for individual drones and interaction constraints between drones and transit. The routes that we compute will depend on how we allocate drones to deliveries and dispatch depots. And of course, since there are real-world costs involved, we want to optimize a cumulative objective over the system. In our case, the make span, which is the maximum delivery time for any individual package. We decompose this challenging problem and solve it in a two-stage approach. In the upper layer, we design a task allocation algorithm that obtains a near-optimal make span in polynomial runtime. In the lower layer, we execute this allocation by extending state-of-the-art multi-agent pathfinding techniques to find bounded suboptimal plans over large transit network graphs that respect all of the system constraints. In addition to the theoretical properties, we run extensive simulations with two real-world public transit networks in North San Francisco and the Washington DC area, with up to 200 drones, 5,000 packages, and bus networks of nearly 8,000 stops. Our framework computes low real-world makespan solutions for most settings within a few seconds on commodity hardware, and enables drones to extend their effective range to 360% with transit. To illustrate what that lets us do, here's a simple visualization in North San Francisco with about 80 drones. In practice, we would execute them repeatedly over a business day. You can see how several drones use transit when it is convenient, and at the end, you'll see some drones low on energy using transit to get close enough, and then flying the rest. Our paper builds upon previous research across fields, but they address only subsets of our formulation. Aerial ground delivery pairing approaches only consider the single agent setting. Mobility on demand research is typically unsuitable for autonomous path planning. While the multi-agent pathfinding community has not looked at planning over large transit graphs. And none of these approaches can be trivially extended to our problem formulation. I'll now discuss our two layer framework at a very high level. The upper layer is for task allocation it takes the depot and package locations and an estimate of drone travel time as input and computes a threefold solution that assigns each package to a dispatch depot and delivery drone and each drone to a sequence of deliveries. The lower layer is for multi-agent pathfinding. It takes as input the transit network and the drone start and goal locations from the allocation layer and generates detailed routes in space and time that respect all the system constraints 
and the transit timetable. Our near-optimal polynomial time task allocation algorithm consists of four conceptual steps. First, we define the directed allocation graph of depots D's and packages P's. The edge weights are the travel time estimate from source to target node. Second, we compute a set of minimum weight tours that connect packages to depots subject to inflow outflow constraints. Using combinatorial optimization theory, we reduce this otherwise exponential time integer programming step to a polynomial time linear program whose solution is still integer optimal. Third, we merge these tours by iteratively clustering the nearest depots to get one tour that visits all packages. Finally, we split this tour into chunks of roughly equal cumulative weight and assign each chunk to one of our drones. If we have, say, M drones in our team, we end up with a set of M delivery sequences, one for each drone, such that their union visits all package locations exactly once. For multi-agent pathfinding, we develop a bounded suboptimal make-span solver by extending the well-known conflict-based search algorithm to large transit networks. Given the output of the allocation layer, we first construct the pathfinding graph that includes the depot and package locations and the time-stamped transit stops according to the known timetable. The overall idea of conflict-based search is to bypass the complexity of joint pathfinding by planning paths for individual agents separately and then resolving any inter-agent conflicts that arise in a hierarchical fashion. We modify conflict-based search for our setting through implicit graph representations, a new constraint-satisfying individual path search routine, and much more. Now, let's preview some key results. We use the Julia programming language for all simulations. First, we demonstrate that our task allocation implementation is indeed polynomial time in the number of depots and packages. Note how the absolute runtimes increase roughly quadratically with the number of packages along a column, and similarly along a row with increasing number of depots. The absolute runtimes are reasonable given the commodity hardware. For instance, for the setting of 5,000 deliveries and 10 depots highlighted here, which can represent a half business day of several hours of operation, the runtime is just over 17 minutes. To evaluate the multi-agent pathfinding or map F layer, we use two real-world public bus networks in their corresponding areas of operation. We get the network information and timetables from the open source GTFS specifications. In the interest of time, I'll only discuss San Francisco. For our analysis, we varied the numbers of depots and drones or agents over a city. The depot locations are randomly scattered. For each setting, we chose some large number of packages ran the allocation layer, and took the set of first package deliveries and returns, one for each drone. We then ran our modified conflict-based search solver on this MAPF problem, and considered some statistics over 100 different trials for each setting. We look at computation time to plan the routes, how many times drones use transit, and how much they extend their effective range. And finally, the real-world make span of the set of deliveries. I've highlighted some of the extremes in each column here. The solver takes no more than a few seconds. Drones use transit quite often, especially when there are fewer depots, and extend their range up to 3.6x or 360%. And the worst make span of about 3400 seconds is still under an hour. So this is all quite promising in the context of eventually deploying such technologies. There are several potential future directions of work both on the logistic side, like case studies to estimate costs and externalities, and on the robotic side, extending our framework to jointly routing ground and aerial vehicles, incorporating timetable delays and delivery windows, and accounting for uncertainty. Okay, here's a summary of our contributions, a comprehensive two-layer framework with both theoretical guarantees and strong empirical results. Please see our extended version on Archive for more details and many more results, and our open source code as well. And feel free to contact me for further questions. Thank you for your attention.